I want to start with congratulations on the sequel. Uh, you did a fantastic job. I know fans are going to love it. Um, and I think the first thing they're going to ask when they finish the movie is, um, is that guy who directed Sonic 2 coming back for Sonic 3? <laughs> uh, I I'm having a blast. I love this cast. I love this crew. We have so much fun making these movies. I think you can tell with the actors, Jim Carrey's having the time of his life playing Robotnik. So nothing would, would make me happier. I'm not officially involved with, with any of the, the additional films yet, but I'm so proud of this movie. I'm so proud of the first movie. So excited for fans to see it. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, they really are uh, uh, incredible movies to make. I think a lot of people don't realize what you actually have to do on this movie because you are directing live action, you're directing animation, you're doing these big action set pieces. Like there's so many different mediums that you're pulling together into one finished product. What ended up being the most real pain in the ass thing to get right on this one in terms of all the different things? I mean, it, it really was, uh, I mean, just the scope of it, but that was also the best part of it. I mean, it was such, it's such a big movie. It does have so many visual effects, so many big sequences, but yeah, having a, having a background in visual effects. And I started my career as a character animator. It's really what I love and, and getting to work with a live action sort of cast and, and, and actors like Jim Carrey and to kind of like fuse that with, with animation. It's just, I mean, it's a dream come true. I mean, these these movies are, are such a delight to work on, uh, and, and so I feel very fortunate to be uh, to be entrusted with a character like Sonic and, and a universe like Sonic that allows for us to just do these just big, fun, uh, action packed movies. Uh, I spoke to Jim earlier, and he told me that like when he goes to set, he will have tons of alts in his back pocket, ready to do, ready to go. So, what is it actually like in the editing room when you have to pick from like five awesome? Jim Carrey moments for and you have to whittle it down to one. It's the best problem to have. I mean, really, it's like, and it is hard because what you laughed at uh, for the last couple of weeks, suddenly you look at that other alt and like, oh, that's that's really funny too. And it's like, you, it, it can be very challenging to pick a favorite because they're all hilarious. Jim works so hard on Robotnik. He brings so many ideas to set every every day and, and, and we film as much as we can so that we do have all, all those great options when we're editing. But um, yeah, it, it is at the end of the day, a wonderful problem to have that we have so much Jim Carrey to work with. With Knuckles' voice, with Idris, he, who is fantastic as Knuckles, um, how did you discover, or how did you figure out the actual voice? You know what I mean? Like the way he would in, deliver his lines and stuff like that. Uh, it was just workshopping. In some of the earlier sessions, it was just trying things, uh, putting them up against the cut, seeing how they, they felt. And then Idris, of course, had his own opinion kind of on, on what he thought. And, and, but yeah, it just really took a little dialing in. Fortunately, we had lots of, of previs and early sort of animation that we could kind of take the voice, put it up against the picture, watch it, talk about it, and then just kind of dial it in. Sometimes on movies, you know, things change radically during the filming process and in the editing room. Was this the case on this film? Did you start off making something, like how did it change while you were making the film? Was it ever a completely different story? You know, was it, you know what I mean? No, I, I'm actually very proud to say that we really, uh, aside from some, some, some minor adjustments here and there, I mean, we didn't have any, any reshoots on the film. It was just, uh, I think we had a really strong story fr from the start. And a lot of it was really just about trying to tighten it up as much as possible, make sure all the messaging, all the emotional stuff was clear and was really landing. Of course, we're always going for better jokes and having this amazing cast and, and guys like Jim Carrey and of course, Ben Schwartz with, and what he does with Sonic. He's always looking for the best version of a joke or a delivery. So everyone cares so much. Everyone wants to get to get it right and to make fans and audiences just uh, thrilled with, with, with the movie we made. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's, uh, uh, it's just, everyone works really hard. Did you end up with a lot of uh, deleted scenes? Uh, there's, there is, uh, uh, some that I love and just for one reason or another, we're, we're not able to, uh, to sort of make the final cut. Um, I, I have, I'm, I have no doubt that Paramount's going to be looking for a way to release some of those because who doesn't love, uh, deleted scenes? I mean, there, there, uh, there's some really wonderful robotic stone interactions. That relationship is so hilarious. And, and Lee Majub and, and, and Jim Carrey are just absolutely uh, uh, just magical together. So hopefully we'll get some of those out and, and fans can enjoy them. Uh, I would like to see them. So yes, please do that. Um, without getting into spoilers, the ending of the film as a, like a post credits or an after, you know, like middle of credits type scene, 
Uh, I'm just curious, how how long did you decide or how did you figure out what you wanted to put there? Uh, I, I I have my favorite, uh, my list of, of characters and, and, and that uh, for, for many reasons, uh, which I can't really go into, was the top of the list. Fortunately, everybody else on our side, the filmmaking side, Sega, Paramount, uh, our producers, everyone kind of felt the same way. It was like, oh yeah, that, that's that's what we got to do. So that that sort of uh, clicked from early on, and 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 I'm so I'm so excited about people seeing it. Uh, yeah, was there? Did you come close to another? Was it always that character? Uh, it was always that character. How does it work with um, you know with a film like this where you have the studio and you have Sega? How much are they sort of? in the weeds and sort of in there figuring out like all the things you want to do and how much the ba- like the balance of creative freedom versus what the studios kind of want. Oh, it's, they're great partners. I mean, we, we were given a, 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 a wonderful amount of latitude after the first film to go off, to outline, to kind of identify the broad strokes of the story, the character development, character arcs, uh, come back, pitch them on both sides, I mean, Paramount and Sega, uh, and sort of just uh, continue to sort of work through the ideas with them. But we get a tremendous amount of freedom, but at the same time, we're obviously so respectful of Sega's characters. It's so important that they have a voice in the room and, 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 and they, I mean, have so much knowledge and so much history of these characters. They're a wonderful resource. They, they always keep us on track in terms of just making sure that, that we're, we're, we're uh, giving fans the, uh, the, the characters, the versions of the characters that they know and love. So it really is a team effort. Uh, and I'm so proud of, 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 the, of the film we made and, and sort of the result of all that collaboration. I know that um, they're doing like that Knuckles live action series. And I would imagine that they're going to explore other options with the popularity of these movies. Um, are you, you mentioned you're not involved in these things. Is it something that you want to be involved with? Are you, do you know what I mean? Oh, I mean, I, I, I love yeah. these characters. I, I love this movie universe that we've built. Uh, I think there's so many exciting things possible in the future. Uh, again, right now, it's just I'm um, so right now it's all about the, the adrenaline of finally getting to share this movie that we've been working on for the last two years uh, with audiences. I think they're going to have such an amazing time. But, yeah, it, it's the, the best uh, the, the best possible outcome would be to get to, to tell more stories and to continue like with with Knuckles. I mean, he's such an incredible character. I think fans are going to just walk out of this movie wanting more of him like immediately. Uh, and so, yeah, I mean, it, it would be uh, it'd be wonderful to be part of that planning. On that note, I got to go. I'm just going to say congrats. And uh, it's really hard to do what you did. And you did it. Thanks, um, Steve. I, w- I wish you nothing but the best. Appreciate it, man. Take care.